In this short video, I will be giving a brief introduction to the course Enumerative Combinatorics or rather I would say a course which is associated with the counting problems. So often we uh, look at the question that start how many ways are there to look at certain things or any question how many ways are there to count a particular set. So generally in different areas we associate with the questions of counting. So sometimes these counting questions are easy, but sometimes they are very, very hard. And there are not set strategies by which you can handle all the counting problems. That is why innovative combinatorics subject is a subject where we look a lot of exploration and we have a lot of application for the counting subject like in graph theory, combinatorial optimization, statistical mechanism and many more subjects. Wherever we associate the set cardinality, counting, enumerative combinatorics comes into the picture. So here is the first glimpse of the topic that I would like to cover, inclusion, exclusion. And I'll start with counting two basic counting principles, generalized permutation and combination, sequence and selections, inclusion, exclusion formula. Restricted position, Rook polynomial and system of distinct representation. And then I will be moving on to generating functions and recurrence relations. And in that we will be discussing about Fibonacci, Catalin number, uh, Q binomial theorem, composition, zigzag graph. And then we will be covering some topics in group theory and in combinatorics. So I am not limited to this particular syllabus. As we progress in the course, I will be taking some examples, some research problems that may appeal the audience and that which are found by my students interesting in connection with the enumerative combinatorics. And if you look at the study of combinatorics, this is not very modern. Rather, it is mathematical roots are very deep. Uh, it's day back to Euler and Kelly and Sylvester. There are lot many problems which are associated with these. How many ways are counting for some particular set? So during the coming up videos for this course, we'll be mainly looking at two approaches. First approach which would be constructive proof or enumerative proof or very much about how a particular part appear, how many ways we can write something. So which means th this is not one particular way. There could be al always uh, possibility that there is an alternate way of counting something second approach could be slightly analytic where we are looking for algorithms to investigate counting problems say for example you want to minimal spanning tree or the shortest root problem all these problems or the algorithm problems their roots goes back into the counting problem so we shall be exploring some of these while exploring these uh or another approach could be finding about bijection between two different sets because bijective proofs are often very interesting and once you know in the bijective proof say you already know the counting of the set a and you can find a bijection between the two set b so then you can say the number of elements in the set a is same as the number of elements in the set b so we might be further exploring when we are doing generating function various bijective proofs help us to solve the counting problems and there are no prerequisites for this course the only way to learn enumerative combinatorics is to first love the counting problems and second to have a good uh, mathematical maturity which comes usually by practicing the problems of the combinatorics so for the course the list of the recommended books is as these are not in a particular order but just written uh, as it comes in my mind Richard A. Bolaldi, Introductory Combinatorics. Then we have a beautiful book by G. Martin, Counting the Arts of Enumerative Combinatorics. A book by A. Tucker, Applied Combinatorics. Then by R. Gilmaldi, B. V. Ramana, Discrete and Combinatorial Mathematics. Then we have another book, Combinatorics, Including Concepts of Graph Theory by V. K. Balakrishnan. And there is another very, very interesting book by R. P. Stanley. Enumerative combinatorics. In fact, there are a lot many uh, research level uh, books also by Richard P. Stanley in the subject combinatorics. And finally, another interesting book, D. Stanton by, and by D. White, constructive combinatorics. So in my next video, we shall be starting with some basic counting problems. And these are called as two basic principle countings that is addition principle and multiplication principle so we'll be looking at these two principle in my next video with some examples